So listen, I don't want y'all to give this guy no smoke, but I think he has a, a point I agree with. The only part I don't agree with is what he said about Craven. I think the Craven movie is going to be a slam dunk. But um, yeah, great, great observation. Uh, y'all check it out. So the post about cardiac. People, you all want characters put in movies or have a studio make a movie about a, a character like Cardiac with no introduction. If you do that, come out of your feelings. If you do that for some character like Cardiac, he's going to end up just like Madam Web, just like Morbius, just like what Craven is going to end up being. These characters do not have a big enough presence and they need to be introduced with a much larger hero that has an established fan base and audience. This is why I say sometimes you need a seat at the table, sometimes you need to make the table, and sometimes you need a seat at the table to see how things are done. Those three things are not the same. Sometimes you just need a seat at the table. You need to be the presence in an industry to let your voice be known. Sometimes you just need to make the table if there's no industry there. Sometimes you need to see the table to see how things are made and done so that you can eventually go make your own. Too many of you are like, they should just make these movies about these characters. You don't understand how this industry works. And if you do that with a relatively unknown black character, it's going to end up just like Madam Web. <laughs> There's a reason why Ironheart is getting a show is because she was already introduced in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. That was the vehicle that introduced her to the mainstream. Listen, like I say, um, a lot, what a lot of people don't understand, they see a character that they like, but they don't understand the times that we're in today. This is not like the A1 MCU era anymore. This is the rebuild era. And you don't give a cardiac standalone movie on the hymns of Morbius, Venom, and Madam Web that suck. Listen, I want to be the first to say I think the character is dope. I think he'll be an amazing addition in a movie. He has been in some comic books as of recent. However, I just don't have faith in the fans. I don't. I don't care what nobody says on social media. It's all about putting butts in seats. And if you struggle to do that. You know, just in, in today's age with everything being super social political or people calling things woke, it's it's a whole freaking culture war out there. Definitely don't want to do a standalone movie with this guy. You definitely want to insert him into a Spider-Man uh, movie, but it's just like, where would he fit? He was originally introduced in Amazing Spider-Man 344, which was Cletus Cassidy's cameo, and he hung out for years. He even has Vibranium's freaking skin. Come on, man. Was that stolen? I think he should slowly transition to cardiac maybe over the course of two films and then kind of see where it goes.